Now what we're going to do with the pressing of this is we're actually going to do a pinwheel type pressing. And if you have ever done um, four patch blocks or made a little four patch pinwheel, you might already know about this type of pressing. But because I already have this one going this way and that one going that way, what I'm going to do is have this side of this seam come down and this side of that same seam go up. And you can see that would be a mess if I tried to do that. I chained across there, but what I'm going to do is open out that little stitch I left and there's a seam, a few stitches here in this seam. I'm going to take out those stitches down to the seam that crosses it. And this does not cause your block to fall together because you know from regular piecing that when you cross a seam with another seam, that's going to lock those stitches. So I'm not going to go beyond where this seam is. I was just going to take those few little stitches out there. Some people just do it by pulling on it, but because of my bias uh, edges there. So what I can do now is open out that center and I can press these now in a pinwheel so that the whole thing will be nice and flat and I won't have any bulk in the center. You can't do this on every block, but if you've got a block like this where the seams are, are encouraging you to go that direction, it works really well. So I do this on a few blocks, but not absolutely everything. So we'll go to the iron and press it now. Okay, so I'm ready with my iron to... One little tiny piece of paper left in there. Okay, I'm going to, again, I'm going to encourage this with my iron. I'm going to do this kind of gently because I want to make sure on the front I don't have any little little pleats going on there. I'm just going to press each one of these around in a circle. So I'm actually pinwheeling the seams on the pinwheel block. Easy to remember. Do it here and we'll get a nice bit of it in the middle. Now here's where if, if I'm if I'm going to have one iron, sometimes I have two irons available, and one of them will have water in it so I can use steam. And this is one of the times I like to use steam to get those seams nice and flat. So then I'll flip it over to the front here and make sure everything is nice and flat. And here, I love those irons with a shot of steam where you go pow, pow. That's where I would shoot it, right there on those seams. But you can see it's still lying pretty flat here, even with a dry iron. So there's our pinwheel polka block. 